Hey guys, so I was actually looking around at the map, and I think I figured out who I want to play today. I haven't actually played as the Philippines before. Let's get into this. I'm not too worried about um, breaking away from the Spanish. It should be pretty easy. Let's see our nation. So we have no urban buildings. We have a few rural buildings. Yeah, it, it might be a little bit before we actually break away because we have a lot of building up to do right now. So I've built up my economy a little bit. I have um, tooling workshops and I've been building mines and I'm planning on building all these plantations here. But that's not the important thing. This is uh, apparently Austria declared war on the Qing and the Qing backed down. So now Austria has a presence in China. And welcome to the world, Bosnia. And it looks like France actually puppeted New Granada, so that's pretty cool. And Prussia puppeted Denmark, apparently. <laughs> and they took their capital from them, that sucks. Oh my god, and the US actually puppeted this guy. This sucks. I was actually gonna take him out once they got independent. And now the US actually has a foothold on the Philippines, which is terrible. And it looks like Prussia and Austria are actually at war with the German leadership right now. And it's looking like Austria is going to lose this. So I'm pretty sure that Prussia is going to form Germany in this game. Somehow the guys down here got free from the US. Hopefully they stay independent by the time I get to them. Because I'd much rather just consolidate my entire holdings than have, you know, little areas where people can just invade me by land, you know. Also somehow this guy popped free. I don't think I've ever actually seen this guy before, so that's pretty cool. We are Germany, but in this ultimate world, they took Luxembourg and Bohemia instead of taking Alsace Lorraine. So that's pretty cool. It looks like Austria decided to absolutely doom the people living here with terrible standard of living since they have no market access. And it looks like the Ottomans are about to lose to Egypt and lose. Uh, this country and Tunis so that's pretty cool and also for some reason the US and Mexico are, are at war but the US isn't gaining any war score for some reason I don't really know why they occupy most of Texas I don't really get it something I've noticed about the Philippines is that we can't actually get coal mines here which is actually crippling so basically the entire time, even when I'm independent, I'm gonna have to import coal, which like really sucks. Alright, and I think it's time to break away from the Spanish. I don't think they're gonna show up. And our economy's pretty like self-sufficient. So yeah, I'm gonna start decreasing relations and expelling their diplomats. Alright, so I think it's time. And even though the two Sicilies will support them, I think with our mounted troops it'll be okay since they'll have a landing penalty yeah yeah definitely they will like they have like no boats so i think it'll be okay Alright, and we're free. And I think our economy took a pretty big hit there. Let's, let's see. Yeah. Being in, but at least we're making money now. Let's. So, and I noticed another thing that was happening. Austria declared war on the Ottomans. And France joined on the Ottoman side. And then Egypt joined on Austria's side. And Austria took this absolutely hideous amount of land. Like, this is disgusting. And now we have Aquitania, too. So that's cool. So Russia just declared war on Sulu to subjugate them. I'm going to take my piece of Sulu that I want before this actually happens. Alright, nice. Alright, so I've just noticed three things. The first thing, obviously, is the thing that's right in front of my face. 
we finally got a law that like restricts slavery i really just want to ban it because of landowners are terrible to have in government but we haven't had the option yet the second thing i've noticed is that the u.s finally won that war with mexico it's been probably going on for 20 years now and we have a we have a uh, a cameo from california here and the third thing i noticed is that we are actually about to break into the top 10 gdps and we're also about to beat our overlord so that's pretty cool and we actually just unlocked um rubber plantations we can one i don't know why we can only build one but we might as well just build it and it's only been like 40 years and europe is unrecognizable we now have poland free germany popped poland out of russia what are they doing now they're trying to subjugate haiti and for some reason austria made the the netherlands a dominion which means by extension they've made the dutch east indies their dominion which by extension means that i can't conquer this guy so it looks like i'm not going to actually be able to control the entire philippines since russia and austria ruined my plans and to do a check up on our country our gdp we're actually in the top 10 right now with top 10 gdp per capita we have really good literacy we're the eighth best in the entire entire world sorry <laughs> i saw that guy i'm like wait what um we have really good standard of living too we're the seventh best in the world the only bad thing is that we have no more peasants left and our country is so backwards we aren't actually getting any immigrants so i'm kind of just stuck here now i don't really know what else to do i'm thinking of conquering but like everybody has an ally like this guy i was thinking about conquering him but he's a tributary this guy he, he'll, he'll have like a ton of people join him this guy will have the duchies and he's joined him you know it's just it's hard to kind of find a oh i could conquer california maybe yeah i might do that First, I'm actually going to conquer Hawaii here. Alright, nice. So I'm not sure if this counts. We did beat Spain and GDP now. But I'm pretty sure it's because he went through a, a revolt. Because now he's a military junta instead of being a um a monarchy so all right it's time to take out california here all right so we can't actually land but we can use this to our advantage i don't want to have slavery enabled in my country and luckily, California wants me to ban it. So I'm just going to capitulate to him. There we go. And this is actually the first time I've ever done this in one of my videos. I might as well just do this. I think it'd be pretty funny. If anybody knows, is this a real flag? I have never seen a flag like this before. That's... It's actually kind of cool in an ugly way. Alright, so I just declared war on Brunei. And Russia joined on their side. I think I'm going to call in Germany here. And offer to liberate Sweden. I don't even know how. Oh, okay. Hopefully they join in time. Because otherwise I don't think we'll be able to win this. So They're facing Moldova for no reason. So that's cool. All right, sweet. And it looks like we're about to see the most miserable Serbian state I've ever seen. We're going to see this half of Montenegro break free. Just because of the Ottomans can't actually reach that part of their land. Is it going to be a Muslim? No, it isn't. Okay. It's still Orthodox for some reason. All right, I'm going to actually attempt to conquer Washington here since Oregon got free. Um, let's see. Does British Columbia have coal? It does have coal too. Let's see which. Yeah, I'm gonna conquer Washington because it has more people.
All right, finally we won that, and <laughs> this is pretty cursed right here. I don't even know how good it feels to finally be able to build coal mines now. All right, and I think I'm actually gonna end this here. The Philippines, the biggest struggle for them is the like the quest for coal, because there's like not a not a ton of easy land to conquer around here for coal. Like the closest area is probably like Australia. Did, did these people have coal? You could conquer these people too if you wanted to. Um, I had to go all the way to North America to get my coal. But other than that, they're pretty fun to play. They have an interesting scenario where you need to break away from Spain. Um, they can easily be a powerhouse. If I played this even more, I have no doubts that I'd probably get into like, I don't know, like 7th place in GDP. Um, GDP per capita in our nation is pretty good. We have pretty decent literacy, especially considering where we started. We have pretty good standard of living. We have a ton of people, like... I was able to pass a ton of laws, like multiculturalism and freedom of conscience, which helped like a ton of migrants come. And now we have a ton of peasants. I'm um, looking at the rest of the world. Of course we have this state here still there. Austria has that piece. Um, somehow a ton of these little guys popped out of um, the British Raj. Uh, Austria is in the middle of a civil war. And they repuppeted the Netherlands. Corsica is free. It actually looks like Austria is about to lose the rest of Italy, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know. And thank you for watching.